ladies, and welcome back to my channel, What I Wear Now, My Life After My Double Mastectomy. I'm finally back on here with a new <laughs> blouse, but this one is, if you saw the title, it's not working for me, and I'll go through it with you why it's not working, but I did want to say I finally got something from ThreadUp that was not missized, miss photo. ThreadUp and I are having a lover's quarrel. I adore thread up. I think they're genius. It was a, it, it's a genius idea, but lately, boy, they're going through something, right? I sent back nine pairs of pants in the last month because the measurements were wrong. I have to go by the measurements. I don't know from one designer to the next, not even within that designer's line, which one I'm going to be able to wear unless I go by the measurements. And if those are not correct, then I'm left with nothing to wear. And that's what has been happening lately with me and Thread Up. They just can't get their measurements right. So I hope they're working on that and we'll keep moving forward. I have not made it over to Goodwill yet. I need to start putting that into my rotation. Uh, the last time I was there, they still weren't letting you use the dressing rooms to try things on. And that wouldn't be a problem, other than the fact that they only give you a week to turn things back in or to return them. And sometimes I just can't get to Goodwill twice in a week. So, but I am going to make it my mission because me and ThreadUp just aren't getting along right now. But that has nothing to do with the top. ThreadUp had nothing to do with the top. It was my mistake. This top, gorgeous color, am I right? Oh, I absolutely love the color. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it is uh, from an uh, established 1949, I believe. Oh, ladies, I just looked at the tag before I turned on the camera. And when you know it, my Letrosol brain has just dumped that information. I will put it down below in the description. Who makes the blouse? Now, for somebody else, this blouse would be gorgeous. There's nothing wrong. Look at the cute little cutouts in it. The little trim on the bottom. And this is what is not working for me. My strange Winnie the Pooh belly is my worst feature in my eyes. Forget the numb breast. This odd thing I've got going on in the middle <laughs> is what drives me nuts the most. And this blouse, in my opinion, accentuates exactly where I don't want your eye to go. Okay? Any decoration down here on the bottom, I'm finding that I am not liking at all. I have returned blouses that just didn't fit right to me or look right to me with the flounce on the bottom. This has a little one, but it does have this decoration, and it is exactly where I don't want your eye to be. I feel like it's making me look extra fluffy. It's making me uh, uncomfortable. Uh, look, at, look at from the side. Now, I'm fluffy today. I woke up fluffy, but this is really pushing the envelope for me in my comfort zone. It's just protruding out way more than I am comfortable with. The decoration is making it not lay perfectly flat, which is bringing attention to it. Now, am I going overboard with this? Absolutely. Am I wearing it to work? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to give it a chance. But I've got to tell you, it may be, in your eyes, the most beautiful blouse you've ever seen, but unless I feel comfortable in it, passing that on to you, then it's not the right blouse. Okay. Shorts I love. These are those no-nonsense pull-on ones that I just raved about last year. These are the same pair. I'm loving them. Again, on an extra fluffy day like today, something as comfortable as a pull-on short, you cannot beat it. Again, no-nonsense shorts. I do, I don't want to end this on a bad note, this video, since I haven't been on in a while because, well, I've been having problems with thread up. So, not to just make this all humdrum and bad news, I did want to talk about my shoes. I know shoes don't have anything to do with what's going on up here, but it's all your frame of mind, it's all what makes you feel good, and I want to pass this along to you. If you have ankle pain like I do, if you have joint pain like I do, my ankles are the worst. Out of all the joints that kill me every day, that scream at me every day, my ankles are the worst. Now, when I work, when I go to work today, I'm going to be standing on a concrete floor most of the time. I try my cute little flat sandals, um, 
The sneakers are fabulous, but I don't want to wear sneakers all the time. And the cute little sandals, they are gorgeous to look at, but they're not very gorgeous to stand in. My feet, my legs, my back, my neck, my shoulders, everything are just killing me by the time I get home from work. Well, what I've done is I've noticed that the platform shoes, do you remember those back in the 90s? Well, they're back. I was never into it in the 90s. They were more of the, uh, the, the girls that more did the, or the ladies that did what kind of like the grunge look. So I was a little bit too old for that. I was, you know, aging out of that kind of thing, and it just never appealed to me. Well, girls, I have discovered the platforms. If you saw my little story on Instagram last week with the platforms that I got at Walmart that were, I didn't like the color, so I glued the little butterflies over them. I was waiting for another pair. Now, I'm not spending a lot of money on these because I didn't know if I would like them or not. Plus, I have a weird thing about spending a lot of money on summer shoes because my feet swell, they sweat, I perspire a lot. Anyway, <laughs> TMI. So I wanted to show you these Look how comfortable, look how cute. I got these on Shein or Sheen. I don't know how you say that. Shein, Sheen. They were not very expensive. I think they were like $16. They've got rhinestones on them. They're about two inches. And they even have um, ones that are higher than this if you're a little bit more adventurous. But I do have to walk across the parking lot. And I would hate to take a face dive because of my cute shoes, you know what I'm saying? So this is about as high as I wanna go. They're, they give, so every joint in my body is just sighing a sigh of relief right now, saying thank you so much. Your feet aren't gonna kill you, your ankles aren't gonna kill you, and you look cute too. There's nothing wrong with wearing a pair of sneakers to work. I get it, I hear you. I like, I like to look like I put in an effort. I like to look like I tried, and I like a little sparkle. If you know me, you know I, I am a sparkle. <laughs> I'm a sparkle girl. So give those a try. If your joints hurt and you feel like you want to elevate your shoes, um, no pun intended there, but maybe just a little bit, try out these platforms, ladies. I am going to look for more. Again, they're not very expensive. They're comfortable. If they're a wreck by the end of the summer, I didn't spend a lot of money, and I can just, you know, uh, give them to charity or throw them away if they, you know, tear up. So I want to show you these while they're still clean. Like I said, I have to walk across the parking lot today and you know these are going to be completely black on the bottom. So goodbye new shoes, but they're adorable. So look into that if you're having troubles with your ankles, your knees, your hips, even these, oh, they just feel so wonderful. Okay, rant over. Ending on a good note with the shoes, I hope you guys are having better luck with Thread Up than I am, and I certainly hope that whatever they're going through, they get fixed, because I can't keep sending back boxes of clothes because the measurements were not right. Okay, that's been my problem lately, so if you don't see me, it's because everything that I had, I had to send back. Anyway, I, okay, I've gone on long enough. Off to work, have a beautiful day. <laughs> Have a beautiful day, ladies, and I will talk to you very soon. Okay, oh my love, bye-bye.